Hello, this is another free online homework help video from alexpleasehelp.com. My name is of course Alex, and I am in this video going to help Stephen from Georgia. He submitted a problem about a suspended mass from a cable system. This problem involves 2D vector addition, Newton's second law of motion, and static equilibrium. So let's get to the problem. A 200 kilogram mass is suspended from this cable system shown in this diagram. First problem is find the tension in all three cables. So we have a mass suspended from two cables. One is planted up here in the ceiling and one is planted down here lower. This first cable is angled 75 degrees up from the horizontal and the second cable is angled 25 degrees down from the horizontal on the left. So. We need to apply uh, Newton's second law of motion to this. First, we need to figure out what we know. From the problem, we already know that the mass is 200 kilograms. We can calculate the weight by multiplying mass times gravity, and this is going to equal 1,961 newtons. So when we apply Newton's second law, we need to sum the forces and set it equal to mass times, times acceleration. And since this problem is static, it's not moving anywhere, that means the acceleration is going to equal zero. So when we sum the forces, the sum is going to equal zero. That's really important. We need to take into consideration that these are vectors. They have components. When you apply Newton's second law in vector components, we have the way I have it written here is on the x, the top part is the x component of each vector and the bottom part is the y component. So we have the tension in the first cable times cosine of 75 degrees in the x direction and then the sine of 75 degrees in the y direction. The second cable is negative cosine 25 degrees in the x direction and negative sine degrees, sine of 25 degrees in the y direction. And then we have the weight which is zero in the x direction and negative mg in the y direction. Summing all three vectors equals zero. So when we break this down and we work with just the x direction for the time being, we get t cosine 75 minus t2 cosine 25 equals zero. We can rewrite this and solve for t1, which we can then plug into our next equation which is going to be summing the vectors in the y direction. So when we plug this t1 into here, it looks like this. t2 cosine 25 over cosine 75 sine 75 minus t2 sine 25 minus mg equals zero. Solving for t2, because t2 is the only unknown in this equation here, looks like this. It's a little messy. I'm not going to run through all the calculations. I'll let you do that on your own, but this is what you're calculating. Plugging all that into your calculator, we get that T2 equals 662.6 newtons. And then from this equation up top, when we plug in T2, T1 equals T2 cosine 25 over cosine 75, we can calculate that T1 equals 2320.4 newtons. So that's part one. We got the tension in the first cable and the tension in the second cable. So what's part two look like? In part two, the wind picks up, blowing horizontally from left to right, and causes the mass's cable to rotate counterclockwise 15 degrees. So the wind blows from left to right, and the mass moves up toward the right a little bit. Find the tension in the three cables with the wind. So we could go straight in through what we did a second ago in part one. However, the weight in the first problem, go back up here, the weight was all in, this ten in the tension of this cable. In this part, we don't have that anymore. Tension in the third cable does not equal weight. You can figure that out on your own by applying Newton's second law to the, to the mass that's suspended on the third cable draw a free body diagram, we have the force of the wind going to the right, the weight going down, and T3 going up to the left. You have to apply uh, F equals MA again. In the Y direction, we have T3 cosine of 15 degrees 
minus mg, which is the weight, and that equals zero. And you can solve for T3, and that equals 2030.5 newtons. So that's the tension in the third cable. So how do you figure out the tension in the first two cables? You take down the value of T3, and you bring it down to the next problem, and you apply the same stuff from part one. T1 plus T2 plus T3 all equals zero, because the sum of forces equals mass times acceleration, and since the acceleration equals zero, the sum of all three forces equals zero. Vector components again. It's the same as before, except now the third vector is T3 times sine 15 minus, and then minus cosine 15. Notice how these two thetas, theta 1 and theta 2, are with the horizontal. This theta down here is with the vertical. So where we had cosine in the x direction and sine in the y direction, here we have sine in the x direction and cosine in the y direction. That's just because this is where theta is. Theta could have been over here, but then it would have been 75 degrees instead of 15 degrees. So when we expand out our vector equations, we get this equation in the x direction and this equation in the y direction. You can solve this any way you like. You have two equations and two unknowns. You can do straight up substitution like I did earlier. I like doing the matrix method. I'm not going to get into this. I'll post a link in, this, in the description of the video to show you how to do a vector solving, I mean a matrix solving of two equations. It's, it's fairly simple. I'm not going to get into it. I'll let you do it on your own. When you go through it, however, you'll get that the tension in the first cable is 2610.3 newtons and the tension in the second cable is 1325.3 newtons and just to for consistency the tension in the third cable is 2030.5 newtons so that's part that's answer two the tension in the three cables part three is what is the magnitude of the force of the wind on the mass so going back to the free body diagram of the mass, we have the force of the wind is all in the x direction. So T3, again, is 2030.5 newtons. Summing the forces in the x direction now, we have the force of the wind minus T3 sine 15 equals zero. Solving for the force of the wind, we get F wind equals T3 sine 15, and plug it into your calculator, and the force of the wind equals 525.5 newtons. So that's how you solve this problem. If you have a tricky math or physics problem, send it over to me. I have a link in the description of the video. There's a form on my website you fill out to send it on over to me. I'll make a video of it and show you how to do it. www.alexpleasehelp.com